Welcome back to my place. It's Anders Ericsson. I'm gonna be making a Pegu Club today. <sighs> the Pegu Club originated in Burma in the 1920s. But the reason why I'm making it today is because I recently found out that the Pegu Club bar in New York City is having to close its doors permanently because of the COVID-19 crisis. Uh, this is a big deal because 15 years ago, they were one of the major players in bringing back classic cocktails. And it's also a scary reminder that all of us in the service industry, employees and owners alike, we don't know what sort of future lies ahead when all of this is over. So it just made sense to make the Pegu Club today in honor of the industry. So I hope you'll join me. Let's get mixing. I'll show you how to make it. It's very simple and it's fantastically delicious. To the bar. Okay, let's get started. You're gonna need tools. I'm using a Boston shaker, a jigger, um, Hawthorne strainer, and a fine mesh strainer. Also at this point, put your glassware in the freezer because this cocktail is best served cold. I'm just using a little wine glass because it's cute and adorable. This is gonna be good. This is gonna be real good. Now the ingredients. We're gonna use gin, orange curacao, freshly squeezed lime juice, and bitters. The gin I'm using is Plymouth Gin. The orange curacao is Marie Broussard orange curacao. The bitters is Angostura aromatic bitters. Let's build this thing. Hmm? We're gonna do an ounce and a half of gin, three quarters of an ounce of orange curacao, another three quarters of an ounce of lime juice, and two healthy dashes of Angostura bitters. So the build I'm doing on this one is two parts gin, one part orange curacao, and one part lime juice. Two, one, one. Plus two dashes of bitters. Two, one, one, two. Now we need to add ice and shake it up. Pull down to your butts. When I shake, I always do it over my shoulder. In case the seal breaks, it goes down your back and not onto the customers. This means customers. <laughs> Perfect, looks good. And then we just strain it off into the glass. And that's it, the Pegu Club. So traditionally it doesn't come with a garnish, so I'm not gonna do one. But you can add a twist of orange, a twist of grapefruit, lime, you can put a little lime wedge on the edge. That'd be nice, but I'm just gonna have it like this. The Pegu Club. Cheers. Boop. This is one of my favorites. It's bright, tart, refreshing. I'm lucky because today is like the first day of summer is what it feels like. It's, it's over 70, so this is a perfect cocktail for today. I think you're gonna love it. If you like gin, you have to have this cocktail. If you don't care for gin, you need to try it because this is the perfect introduction to gin. Mix it up, play with the ratios, and you're gonna find it's a great summer cocktail. Or if you're at a gentleman's club in Burma, circa 1924, I, I don't know. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe, and cheers to everyone in the service industry. We'll see you next time.